speaking of people making threats, we have Will Wheaton oh, of boy. Star Trek fame. Uh, self-proclaimed nerd there, I guess, wearing that nerd shirt. Uh, but he had he had a, he had a he had a threat he had a threat for Ken Jennings, uh, Jeopardy host, uh, who decided to host the show that he's basically the I think he's like the producer now. Like so he's got a, a he's got, pretty he's big like a, fine. He's got a role on it, yeah. Yeah, he's I think he's I think he's a producer now. I I, I think he I like, think so. That's he, what I'm saying. Like he 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 contestant champion, yeah, uh, temporary host when uh, Trebek uh, passed away. And yeah, I think now producer, I think that's correct. Yeah. So he's filling in because um, the Big Bang Theory actress, Miam, Miam, I don't know how to say her name. Bialik, I, I don't know how to say her name. Mialam. Mayim Bialik uh, decided to, it. at least reportedly, I'm not sure. Like I, this wasn't, I haven't seen her confirm this. She might have, I might've missed it. But Deadline reported that she decided to stand with the strike strikers and was not going to film or was not going to basically record this last week of Jeopardy season 39, I think. Um, so, like so, so Ken Jennings decided to fill in and used um, like scripts, scripts, um, questions that had already been written because it's like there's some like it's not a it's it's no. not a scripted show it's a game show and like I mean I guess they ask the questions and you get the answers and stuff and you got to place them and everything like that but like but, those, those questions they don't go like oh cover we'll be right back after these messages all right what's on Wikipedia right now what's the next trivia question like they've got right banks of them banks yeah. of them so, Ken probably just went you know hand in a bucket and pulled out seven <laughs> so they had all yeah they had already they'd already done this and um, had already had all the questions and wherever they were going to be placed and everything like that. Uh, and then Will Wheaton was like, uh, your privilege may protect you right now, but we will never forget. So let's, uh, he posts this on Facebook. This dude has like the biggest meltdowns. Like he's just absolutely insane. Um, he's the worst person. Just crazy. He, he's, he's, he, he needs help. Like he needs serious help. Cause he, he like just goes he's crazy all, he, on he's like Facebook, all like, the, at least once a month. Stereotypes of soy. Like even the most obnoxious ones that you go, oh, that's too ridiculous. You guys are going way too hard. That's him. It's insane. Like he is that personified. <laughs> Sailor Mercury says Jeopardy shouldn't even need writers. I, I think the issue is that it's a WGA like union. I guess I was reading it that, like it is a union show. Like the people that work on the show are union members, and so they're all like they're all striking, or a lot of them are striking. I guess uh, when it comes to like the questions. But they do so. I, th I think union members do like look up the questions and all that kind of stuff. I believe that um, you need a bunch of researchers for all those questions, or not and, like researchers, uh, like, but people to look into it. <laughs> yeah, and then we got Leslie Tarkin is saying Ken Jennings is a writer. I, so I'm not sure. Like he might actually do some of the writings because uh, he might do some of the questions and stuff like that. Uh, I know he goes back and forth with people on Twitter about the questions. So um, I think he might have some something to do with the questions, and that is something that. Um, uh, if we that they have like some of these um, union members have gotten upset about they got upset about uh, Tony Gilroy because he's 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 like an executive producer showrunner and obviously he probably does some writing on the Andor show and one guy was accusing him of basically being a scab uh, and saying that he was continuing to like work on the show because Disney was expecting Disney and these other studios obviously Disney is is, is with Andor Lucasfilm was yeah, expecting. Yeah. Um, showrunners and producers to continue doing their jobs as showrunners and producers. Um, so there is kind of this like gray area on like what constitutes writing on a show that might already have like com like um, scripts completed, and whether or not like are you are you if you change the script if you change from the script in like the when you're like filming it is that writing? I don't know. Like so, there's like. <laughs> There's some gray area into this, and even like it's the all legalese trades, like, once you get to that point. <laughs> yeah, even the trades like Deadline, and I think I think it was Deadline. It might have been Hollywood Reporter was like, "What it actually constitutes writing during the writer's <laughs> strike?" And I was like, "Yeah, that might be something you should have figured out before you went on strike." <laughs> that even means, um, but yeah. So this is what Will Wheaton said. Let's just actually just scroll down, and we'll look at his. We'll just look at the Facebook post, the actual image. I think we should be able to see it. There's Ken Jennings there during the uh, champion. Yeah, we can read that. That's pretty good. So this is what he wrote. He said, "This is a very. Uh, I don't know, Cider. Do you want to come on and and do a voice? 
Voice. The Will Wheaton voice. This was <laughs> not what I wanted. <laughs> this is a very small town, Ken Jennings. And we all will remember this. Your privilege may protect you right now, but we will never forget. Hashtag W G A S Trong. Wait, no, it goes the other way. Anyway, edit to add. This is getting more attention than I expected or wanted. And I don't want this to be about me being disappointed by the cho- by a choice Ken Jennings made. Except I, it is. It's I want the you. Ken Jennings. That's why you made the post. Like, yeah. I want the tension and energy focused on supporting the writers who are fighting for their professional <laughs> existence. Opposed to billionaires who are keen to ruin my entire industry. I my industry. Oh my you are like you are not Matt Damon. You are not like Gal Gadot. Like be quiet. Oh my gosh. He's not wrong. I mean, he he literally like leeches off of it with his like uh podcasts that do worse than um like Gary over at Nerdrotic when they're doing like (laughs) Star Trek Picard uh recaps. Um, uh, and he gets like room. cameos, I guess. He didn't even, I, I think he didn't even get back on the reunion, uh, for season no. three. I think he was in and season he wasn't, two. He wasn't, in, he wasn't in season three either. Yeah. That, what you were saying. He wasn't season two, oh, though, but he, they didn't for bring like him back for season second, three. Yeah. They, yeah. They brought him in for season two, and then he like gave a little quick like update, like, here's what I'm doing. And then his character literally just like teleported to the next level of existence. He's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, they did not want him around. They didn't make him a Q, though. They just, they didn't, and he just got wrote off, right? Yeah, yeah, not a cue okay. written off. <laughs> okay. I'll offer one example of how outrageous the AMPTP's position is. David Zaslav is the new CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery. Last year, he was paid about a quarter of a billion dollars. That's one man who is already a billionaire. Quoting Adam Conover, that's about the same level as what 10,000 writers are asking him to pay all of us collectively. The needs of the many outweigh the greed of the few or one, y'all. So I actually like... I. I actually d- agree with him here. I'm not going to. I was about to say lie. that. Like, <laughs> um, I agree I'm with a ag- lot of that, but I disagree. <laughs> like, I want to disagree on principle because he's saying it. <laughs> yeah, I actually think that uh, the greed of these, a lot of these executives, just is absolutely insane. Out of um, I, like, yeah. Um, and so, and I definitely think they should probably. Be, um, well, I don't know. Maybe some of the writers deserve to be paid more. I don't think a lot of them it, it's do. It's a case by case basis. Yeah, sucks. absolutely. <laughs> For the most part, um... okay, give give that raise. Give all those raises to Taylor Sheridan, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I can't think of anyone who's actually um, who's made something like really good um, for TV in like the last five years. Like Tom Cruise and like Christopher McQuarrie on the movie side with Top Gun. With, with, with yeah. But I'm trying to think. Mel Gibson. Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to that movie that he's making yeah. with uh, Mark Wahlberg. Well, it looks well, really Gib- good. Gibson's also uh, doing the the Flight John Risk Luke TV. So yeah, he's doing. Be, yeah, he's be, doing the John really Wick. Interesting. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll actually probably like. Hopefully, I don't need to like watch the John Wick movies to get caught up on. Was he? I'm was sure he, you what's, know. <laughs> what's that show with Chris Pratt about the Marines? Oh yeah, Terminal List. List. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that was that was pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I definitely think that a lot of these CEOs, like Bob Iger, clearly is like way overpaid. Bob Chapek was way yeah. overpaid. Uh, Zaslav, I. <laughs> Zaslav, like, he picked the wrong person here. <laughs> like, because Zaslav is actually, I think, making a lot of good things. Like, he's doing a lot yeah. to save that entire company. Mm-hmm. Um, whether or not he needs to be getting paid what he's getting paid is, is another question. But he's actually, I think, doing a lot of things that that company needs to be, needs to have been done in order for it to I, actually, I definitely think, like, exist. I think you're totally right. An Iger swing would have been way better because they are doing, like, yeah. all the opposite. <laughs> Yeah, well, Iger is trying to like copy him at some point, but also like super Kinda, embracing yeah. the woke at the <laughs> same I mean. time. Like, um, 
which is interesting. And, and right. like Zasla was like, all right, we're cleaning house, like burn it down, we're wiping things. And Iger's like, okay, clean up, like let's let's clean up. Oh, I mean, you don't have to get rid yeah. of it, just put it away. And it's just like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's you gotta a, really the, clean. It's it's also there's there's clearly a uh distinct attitude difference between the two where Zasloff and HBO are like, yeah, we can Batgirl and all of these other things because they sucked and they weren't going to make us money. Uh, so we got rid of them where it's like Iger's like, what does he say here? He said something like, uh, there's a lot of things that we made that are not actually driving subscriptions. <laughs> like instead of like actually like canning stuff and like throwing things under the bus and like saying that he's just all he's trying to be diplomatic where like, Zasloff and his people are just like, like, yeah, Batgirl sucked and it would have been really bad for the entire DC brand. And that's why we're not showing it. I think that was, um, Saffron said that about Batgirl. Okay. Like it would have been bad for the brand. I think uh, think that was Saffron, but like, but but that that attitude clearly comes, I think from the, from the top, right? Cause they canned it. Uh, yeah, I agree with KJ here. He needs to shut down the BLM Superman. Just, I feel like the BLM Superman with Ta-Nehisi Coates is literally uh, Ryan Johnson's Star Wars. I would think. I They're was literally happening. thinking that comparison. I was going to say he'll never. He he'll never tell us that they aren't. I, I, like Kathleen Always Kennedy dangling. was literally at Star Wars Celebration last month saying that, oh yeah, it could still happen. We just got to get the schedules right, and then Empire is running stuff. Uh, I guess this month from Star Wars Celebration, where she's doubling down on it and saying, like, well, yep, she said something like those um, are still happening. All of our movies are still happening, even though we've literally made zero progress on them si- since 2017 or whenever Last Jedi came out. Well, do you know why they haven't made progress? As Kathleen Kennedy said, it's because Ryan Johnson is too busy and successful right now. He's just too good to get. Uh, a meeting and sit down i think he's made two out. movies and they've been yeah. the same thing and I'm just, like i heard that I'm like, for Kennedy, Netflix. what are you talking about like yeah that that is such an excuse <laughs> it's kind of like the yeah. excuse that sony came out with uh probably when they were with you and all like they were planning to the amazing spider-man 3 and it was like oh no mark webb no he is really busy you know it's just doing <laughs> other projects and stuff like that <laughs> it's like, like where, the second mark webb? <laughs> i haven't even seen like, it doesn't even really matter where you stand with, you know, in regarding the first The Amazing Spider-Man movie. The second one is awful. It's like, it's awful. And that is not Matt Webb's problem. That was a studio interfering. The same with Spider-Man 3. And that's how they literally end franchises. <laughs> All right, you want to keep going, Cider? And that's not even the worst of it. I haven't even got to the issues that were called yeah, in up. many... In many room, many in many rooms, and now we all we will all deal with the emergence of AI. It's freaking terrible. Yeah, so the, the AI WGA stuff is-, is not being unreasonable. No. <laughs> I stand with my fellow union members, and I urge you to do the same. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um...